triple eight seven. Today, we're chatting to James Stevens from Michelle Wool, a family-based company in South Australia that has been producing wool for a very long time. Hi, James. Hi, Olivia. Hi, Jake. How are you? Good, thanks. thanks. Now, James, I've heard the old saying that Australia rode on the sheep's back. What does it mean? Because it's pretty hard to ride a sheep. Well, what, what that saying means is that when Australia was first settled and developing economically, wool was our biggest product and it was also a huge export industry for Australia. So of all the early industries that developed in Australia, the wool industry became the strongest very quickly. When the Spanish Merino was brought to Australia and was bred to be suitable for um, use in Australia, it really took off and sheep, particularly Merinos, for wool production became the biggest export industry for Australia. Why are the Merinos so popular? Well, the Merino is the best sheep in the world for fine fibre production. It's perfectly suited to Australian conditions. And uh, so since then, we've grown to a flock in Australia of almost 90 million sheep. Wow. Wow, that's a lot. So that's in all of Australia? Across Australia. So with a population of only 22 million, there's four sheep for every one of us, just about. <laughs> so James, how did they used to transport Australian wool overseas? Well, after the wool was shorn, we used to wash the wool here first and we'd have clean wool. Uh, as you can imagine, you know, all of these farms are all around the country, so the wool would have to get to a shipping port first, usually by horse and cart, after it had been cleaned in bales. And then the wool would be loaded onto vessels. In those days, they were sailing catches and the like, and then it would take the very, very long journey by ocean all the way to London or the other markets that, that the wool was being sold to. Okay, cool. So do they transport it the same way today? They do. It's a little more sophisticated. Now okay. we have things like 20-foot containers and uh, very big uh, ships that can take a lot more wool than what used to be able to be taken, but yes, still, we send it by sea. Well, James, the wool industry sounds really interesting. I can't wait to learn about all the processes. Well, thanks, Olivia. Thanks, Jake. No, no worries. worries. For more information, go to merino.com.